Then we've got verse two. Uh, I think when I was sort of working this out, I found verse two probably the hardest to, maybe not to work out, but certainly to play. This, this part of the song contains the, the trickiest bits, I think. So the first one, it's another volume swell, pre-bend on the second string, five, pre-bend to seven, let it down, pull off to three, just like we've done several times. I'll do it without the volume swell. So you've done that one before. Then there's another rake. And this is the same phrase that the, we started the song with, the same notes, 10, nine, seven, and then 10 on the second string. So 10, nine, seven on the first, 10 on the second. The difference is he doesn't do the pull-offs and he does a rake into that first note. Now, the way I would do this, uh, without seeing him play it, I don't know exactly how he did this, but this is what I'd recommend trying. Little finger on the 10 on the first string. Hold this first finger very lightly onto those two strings so they're muted, like that. And then do the rake thing with those three, with your thumb and two fingers, like that. And that, to me that sounds like he's playing, that sounds like how he did it. So I'm doing thumb first, second, but rolling my hand, not doing individual movements, I'm just kind of going like that. Yeah, and then nine, seven, ten on second. So it's, that's the most Mark Knopfler-ish bit of the whole song probably. Okay, the next one, bit of a weird one this. Um, this is one I'd probably miss out if I was gonna try and play the song through accurately. This is a bit strange. Uh, but it's second and third strings at 11th fret, quickly slide up to 12 those. Then play the 11 on the third string, eight on the second string, open second string. Very strange. And it's quite syncopated. So that means that some of these notes are kind of off beat like this. to listen to it to hear how that fits in. Bit of a weird one. Uh, the next one, a bit more conventional. Second string, fifth fret, play it, bend it to seven. Once you're there, play the seven three, or play the, the string three more times, so it sounds like a seven, and then let it down to five like this. And then same string, three and five. Four on the third string three on the second string. So it's and then there's another three, just on its own, it's very faint, very short note, barely even there. And then we've got the thing we did earlier, slide from second string, third fret, and third string, second fret, play those together and slide up two. Once they're there, you play those strings again, and play the same strings open. So the next one is second string seventh fret. I'm using my little finger for this. Third finger seventh fret, but that's a pre-bend. So you're making the seven on the third string sound like a nine. Like that. But play them both together and then let the string down like this. And then you play second string fifth fret, third string, fourth fret. Uh, and you just play those twice, but they're quite short like this. And then play the same two strings again. So I'm keeping my fingers there, but just relaxing them and play those strings separately, muted, third then second. Like that, that's it. And then another one that I think we've done before, so something similar before. Move that shape back, so it's third fret on the second string second fret on the third string, play those, but bend this one up to sound like a four. And then you, whilst it's there, you play it again. Play it again, let it down. So it's Take the second finger away, play the same two strings, you've got open and three. Put it back on, play them again. So that's. Play them again, slide along two frets. Play the third string open, then go back to where we just were, and play those two again. So it's really nice. 
nice one. I'll probably say that about all of these. Okay, the next one, you've, you've landed here with your, your well, this shape really, sort of third finger there, second finger there. We'll take third away. Keep this one where it is, third string, second fret. Play that note and slide along to four. Uh, yeah, I should point out this phrase is really difficult to make it sound how he does. Um, so I'm just gonna go through it slowly first. So you play that note, slide along. Play the second string as a muted note. So I'm putting my first finger on it, but not pushing down, so it's. Then push down and play the three. Play five, then three, same string. Four on the third string. First string open and fifth. Second string, two muted notes, using that finger. Five, one muted note, same string. Third string, four. Second string, three. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense when you go through it like that, but that's just how you have to learn it. So I'll play it slower than he does in the song. Still doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'll play it fast. Maybe not 100% accurately, we'll, we'll see what comes out, but it will still sound more like the song. You probably recognize it now from the song. That one will take a bit of practice, I think. And then really cool little bit next, he plays the third string. He's down here still, but he slides right up to an 11 like this but it's very fast. You don't hear any note before the 11, you just hear the effect of the slide. And then he does the same thing to a 14. So it's like this. I wouldn't worry about being too accurate on that bit. So the next one, uh, third string, nine, but we're doing a pre-bend, so it sounds like an 11. And after you've played it, you let it down to the nine, then pull off to seven. And you might recognize that one because we've done it several times. Same notes, different string down here. Now, for some reason, when I was working it out, I decided he was here for this one. It's a slightly different tone, maybe the string sounds a little bit different, but you could do it there. And another one that we've kind of played before, this little shape, second uh, string, third fret, third string, second fret, play those and slide along to and go back and just play them again. And then you move along to where you just were, five and four, play it twice more. Quite short again. I think we did something similar earlier. And then again, back to here, same shape, same strings, play those and slide up again. Go back, play them again, three and two, and then play open. And that leads into the next chorus. So the second chorus starts with another rake, just like we did earlier, except this time the, the note that we're, we're playing after the rake is a 12. Um, and the, the two after that are a 14 and a 10. So I don't really want to use little finger for the 12 because I won't have one for the 14. Uh, I don't really want to use first finger because I won't have a finger for the 10. So I've got to think about which fingers to use here. I'd probably use third finger for the 12, and then I can reach the 14 there, reach the 10 there without too much movement. So the rake is on these two strings leading into that 12. So the simplest way is just to flatten your finger down so that you're really pushing on the first string to get the note. But these two, getting a little bit of a harmonic there accidentally, but it's, it's basically muted, not, not this, it's this. And again, like he does, roll your fingers like that, your thumb and your two fingers. Uh, I think the rakes are important in this. It won't sound right if you just go. It's got to be. So that was the, the rake to the 12, then the 14, then the 10, same string. And then very quickly, you've got to get to a nine on the middle two strings, the third and fourth strings, first finger. Play that, slide back to this is another very faint part that you can barely hear. And then play the 10 on the second string, 
and then a, nine, a seven on the first string afterwards. So, it's so with the rake, that was. And then after that, nine on the third string, eight on the second string, play those together, but pull them both off to sevens. So this finger flattens down at seven. Then play the third string seven again, and then play an eight on the second string followed by seven on the second string. So that whole phrase is like this, slowly. And then we've got three sevens all played together, second, third, fourth strings. Just a little D chord really, it comes from that. All of his playing, as you may know, is, is just based around chords. All of his lead playing. Uh, and then we've got a slide on the second string from 10 to 12. Now I'd use third finger for this. Keep your finger there on that 12, second string. Add the first string 10 play those two strings, first and second. Then just play the second string, the 12. Flatten your first finger down so it's covering both tens, play those. Put the third finger back onto the 12, only on the second string, so we've now got a 12 and a 10. Play those, twice. Take your finger away again, play the 10 on the second string. Third string 12, third string 11. Not as hard as it sounds up, guys, like this. If I do it a bit quicker. All based around a D again. You see where my fingers have landed at the end of that. That's a little mini D chord. It's not a coincidence that he, he will be thinking about the chords. Okay, the next one's another rake, a bit like we did at the beginning of this chorus, to the 12 on the first string. 14 again, 12, 10 again. And then cover both uh, first two strings with the first finger at 10, play those. Add your finger on like we did before, second string 12, so you're playing a 12 on the second, a 10 on the first. And then play, take that finger away and play the two 10s again twice. And then play 12th fret on the third string. That's the end of that chorus. That last one was 